Hi, in this video I'll show you another filter that comes with the Jimmy plugin and with this one you can apply a really interesting effect to your photographs. It's one of the best artistic filters in my opinion. And if you don't have the Jimmy plugin, I'm going to include the link in the description of the video. The link will take you to the official Jimmy website. Just go to the downloads tab and download Jimmy for GIMP. Then just wait a little bit for the page to load and uh, you can download the installer for your system. Once you install the plugin, it should appear over here under the filters menu down here. If you don't see it after installing it, just restart GIMP and you should see it. So I'm going to use this photograph to apply the filter. I'll go to filters. Actually before that I want to duplicate this photo so you can have a before and after version of the image. And I'm going to select this upper layer. Go to filters, Jimic, then choose the artistic category and choose this anguish filter. Right away over here you can see that this filter produces some really cool effect on the photograph. Let's mess around with the settings a little bit. I'm going to change the sigma here to 375. Click enter to apply the setting. Then I'll move to the threshold and change this to 470. Next I'll move to this smooth amplitude and change it to 175 and for the noise here I want to remove it and for the sharpen amplitude I'm going to enter 237 click enter to apply and all that is left is just to click OK to apply the filter to the image and this is going to take some time because the image is quite big and meantime let's move to another one that I did you can see the result here you can see the before version before I apply the filter and you can see after that I think it's a pretty cool effect that you can apply to your photographs and the other image is ready so let's go ahead and move to it you can see the result let's check out the before and after, zoom in, you can see the effect. You can achieve pretty cool effect with this filter. It has a lot of settings that you can experiment with. Depending on the photo, you may get different results. It's something worth checking out. And also, I recommend getting the Jimmy plugin as it's filled with tons of useful filters. It's constantly being updated. It's something that you should have in your GIMP. And that's it for this video, I hope that it was useful, if it was, like it, leave me a comment, subscribe for more, that's it for now, bye.